Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at all of the new export options in Photoshop CC. So if you're working on photographs, maybe the majority of your time, or a single image, and you just want to export that image, there's some new options underneath the file menu. If I select export, we can see that I have the option to do a quick export or export as, but the default for quick export right now is PNG, and since this is a photograph, I would prefer to set my quick export to JPEG. To do this, I'll choose export preferences, and then under the quick export format, I'll change that to JPEG. I can change the quality if I want to. In this case, I'm going to increase it up to 90%. And then I can choose a quick export location, either having Photoshop ask me where to export the image every time, or I can simply tell Photoshop to export the files to an assets folder that it will create next to the current document. In this case, we'll walk through asking me where to export. For metadata, I have two choices. I can either choose to remove all of the metadata, or I can choose to hold on to the copyright and contact information. And for color space, I can choose to either leave it in its working space by unchecking this, or going ahead and converting to sRGB by enabling it. So once I've set these preferences and click OK, you'll notice that the next time you return to File and then Export, Quick Export says that it's going to export as a JPEG. And in fact, if you use this all of the time, I would assign a custom keyboard shortcut to that. And that's very easy. We can just go to Edit and then Keyboard Shortcuts. We'll look underneath the File menu, scroll down to the different exports, and then click to the right of Quick Export as JPEG, and I'll just type in Command Shift W. Now that's already in use, but I'm going to remove it from Close and go to Bridge, and instead use it for Quick Export. I'll click OK in order to apply that, and now we can see that if we go back to File, Export, there's my keyboard shortcut. So this is great when I have a multi-layered document like we're looking at right now, because I can use that keyboard shortcut, it asks me where I want to save that file. In this case, I'll choose the desktop and click OK. But you can see that on the Layers panel, I actually still am working on that multi-layered document. So when you choose Quick Export, it'll just do kind of a quick export and just push that file off, allowing you to remain in your current multi-layered document. All right, let's switch to this next document. This document here actually contains two different artboards. And so instead of just doing a quick export, because I don't want to save this as a single JPEG file, what I'll do is I'll choose File, Export, and I'll use Export As. Now, in Export As, we have a number of different options, including the file formats like we saw a moment ago. So in this case, I'll leave it to PNG. We can decide whether or not we want to keep the transparency, and we could make it a smaller file by enabling this 8-bit option. We can also change the image size once we're in here, and add a little padding around our image by changing the canvas size. We can choose to include our copyright and contact information, and we can choose to convert to sRGB. Now, over on the left-hand side, you'll notice that this export actually sees both of these artboards as unique documents, so it's going to export two documents. However, if I need these images at different sizes, I can use this Scale All option. If I click on the plus icon, we can see that I can add as many different sizes that I need to scale these images and export them, and I can do it all at once. I can also choose specific sizes from the drop-down list. And of course, if I don't like the automated suffix that it adds, we could go in there and we could change that as well. All right, for now I'll go ahead and remove three of these by just clicking on the trash can icon. And then I'll choose Export All. It's going to ask me what folder to export to. Once it's done, we can see that here are those two PNG files that were just exported. OK, but let's return back to Photoshop for one moment. I want to show you how to export just a subset of your layers. So let's say, for example, on the artboard on the right-hand side, this is the back of the artboard, I just want to export the six different photographs. Well, I will select them in the Layers panel and then right-click and choose Export As. This time when I select Export As, instead of seeing the two different artboards, we'll actually see all six of those different illustrations that I had selected in my Layers panel that I wanted to export as unique documents. And of course, I have all of the different file settings that I could change. In this case, since they're photographs, I would probably want to change this to JPEG, and then I can change their size and 
add padding with a canvas size if I want to. I can also come over here and do the same scaling as I would as if I was exporting the entire artboard. All right, for now, I'll click Cancel. Now back on the Layers panel, I just want to show you what does happen if you have a layer group. So I'll select the first three layers here in my artboard and use the keyboard shortcut Command G in order to create a group. So now I have a group selected, and then I'll also select this one other layer, this drifting layer down in the lower right. I'll right click and choose Export As. And this time we can see that because those three layers were in a group, Photoshop is going to see them as one unit and will bring that up in the export as, as one single file. So if you do want more control, you can go ahead and use layer groups. And then here's the drifting image that's not in the group. All right, finally, if I go back to the File menu, we can see under Export, I can actually export my artboards to individual files like PSD or TIFF files. I can export my artboards to PDF. Of course, if you are creating like animated GIFs and you need those options from Save for Web, that's still available and you can go ahead and select that. However, I would recommend if either the Quick Export or the Export As contains all of the settings that you need to export your files, I would stick with those two options because not only are they faster, but you're also going to get higher quality. And if you're using artboards, well, Save for Web doesn't understand what an artboard is. So there you go, a quick overview of all of the export options in Photoshop CC. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.